so as you guys know we're getting ready for hurricane barrel um which is supposed to be hitting jamaica between tonight and tomorrow right now it is so calm it is scary and i just literally had flashbacks to 1988 when hurricane gilbert hit i remember specifically my grandmother had clothes on the line drying and i looked across the other community let me show you, over there and i wind just coming it's like the trees look like they were just laying down and it was coming towards us and i asked my grandma i said grandma what is that and she was telling me i need to get in the house because a hurricane was coming and it's going to be really bad and it was hurricane gilbert was one of the worst hurricanes that hit jamaica and this hit in 1988 and i think it was a category three hurricane and from what i remember i think like 110 people died so we're sitting here and just the calm of everything is reminding me of what happened in 1988 let me show you how calm it is outside There is no wind, it is quiet, it is not raining, nothing. The sun is out, it is calm, and it's, it's like a scary calm. Peace and love to my Jamaican subscribers. I just um, got the news of the hurricane that is approaching and I just wanted to do a video on the same and um, get to speak to my Jamaican subscribers because most of my subscribers come from the Caribbean region and I'm most specifically Jamaica to be specific. And um, I just wanted um, to show the people from Jamaica love and I um, just want to ensure that you all keep safe um, in this um, time of this calamity. These two shall pass just like um, Hurricane Gilbert just came and went and I really hope that you all may keep safe and um, I was doing some research on how intense um, Hurricane um, Barry could be and um, some of these um, control measures that um, people should put in place. And I'm so, so glad that the government of Jamaica spoke about this through the Prime Minister and ensure that there will be a time or let, let me call it a curfew that during some timings like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., there will be people indoors to ensure that the movements are limited and um, evacuation um, will be easier if people are in their homes. So I, I just did a little research on hurricane burial and I noticed that hurricane burial is a powerful category 4 hurricane that is currently affecting Jamaica. And um, as of this morning, um, burial is about 225 miles southeast of Kingston. Jamaica moving northwest at 20 mph with um sus with sustained winds of 145 mph the storm is expected to bring life threatening winds storm surges and heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding and um, mud slides in Jamaica today so if you're in Jamaica kindly firm just keep safe and I'm here Wherever I am in, I'll be praying for you guys. I love you guys so, so much. And I know that these two shall pass and you all will come out of this safe and sound. I understand that um, from the previous Hurricane Gilbert, more than 100 people lost their lives. But um, we are praying as the people of the world, as the black folks outside here. And we want um, to vouch for you guys and just to ensure that you all are safe during this timing our prayers are with you and your families so beryl will become the first major hurricane of the 2024 atlantic season initially reaching category 5 strength it has fluctuated between categories 3 and 5 over the past few days impacting several caribbean islands including um, caraco in grenada 
where it has made landfall as a Category 4 storm. Residents in Jamaica and the surrounding regions should follow local advisories and prepare for significant impacts for this dangerous hurricane. So um, I, I, I also came up um, from my research and I found ways that probably people would be safe during this time of an intense hurricane. So let us listen in to some of the safety measures, even as the PM of um, Jamaica speaks about this same issue. Let's listen to the PM, then get back to the video with a critical analysis before we do end this video today. CARICOM heads this morning. We were briefed on the destructive impact of the hurricane on our Eastern Caribbean sister islands. We expressed our solidarity and willingness to support, even as we make our own preparations. Jamaica must take this hurricane seriously. Early this morning, the cabinet reviewed our plans to manage the threat of the hurricane, and the caucus of parliament was also briefed on our state of readiness and the provisions for emergency response. In this regard, the government has made a special allocation of $5 million per constituency to assist with emergency cases for food and building supplies through the Constituency Development Fund, the CDF. After careful review of the trajectory of the storm, the likely strength and impact, the potential threats emanating, and having been notified in writing by the Minister responsible for disaster preparedness and emergency management, I am now declaring the whole of Jamaica to be a disaster area in accordance with Section 26 of the Disaster Risk Management Act for the next seven days. All Jamaica should note that following on this declaration, an island-wide curfew will be in effect between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, the 3rd of July, 2024. This is to ensure the safety of everyone during the passage of the storm and prevent any movement with the intent to carry out criminal activity. An evacuation order on the direction of authorized officers is also in effect for flood-prone and landslide-prone areas, areas at or below sea level and areas at or close to gullies or waterways. We urge all Jamaicans to comply with notices to evacuate if and when they are issued. However, even without the issuance of notice, if you live in a low-lying area, an, an area historically prone to flooding and landslide, or if you live on the banks of a river or a gully, I implore you to evacuate to a shelter or to safer ground. The Minister with Responsibility for Commerce will also make an order under Section 8 of the Trade Act to prevent price gouging of essential goods during a period of disaster. The Minister of Transport has also made arrangements with the operators of the east-west and north-south toll highways to give free access to the toll road between the hours of 6 p.m. and midnight today, July 2nd, 2024. This is to ensure that all Jamaicans who are currently on the road are able to get home safely and conveniently. The details of the various orders will be gazetted, published in our media, and posted on various government websites. The situation, as you can imagine, is dynamic, and the government continues to monitor developments and will provide regular updates. The entire government and all relevant personnel are in a state of readiness to manage the disaster. ODPEM is leading the National Disaster Response, the National Emergency Operations Center, the NIOC, has been activated, and all relevant agencies are on high alert. Now, as we brace for the potential impacts of Hurricane Beryl, we also need our Jamaican household, our Jamaican family, you, to be prepared. It is imperative that we remain calm. Now is not a time for panic. Now, here are some very important steps that each of us should take to ensure our safety and the safety of our loved ones. First thing, stay informed. 
regularly check reliable sources of information, getting your updates on the progress of the hurricane, tune into your local news stations, listen to the radio, and follow official social media channels such as the Jamaica Information Service for the latest information. The Met Service and the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management will provide timely updates. Second, create an emergency plan. Discuss with your family and loved ones what actions to take in the event of an emergency. Identify your strongest room in the house, your safe room, where you can take shelter during the storm. I was trying to look um, for safety measures in this timing when um, Hurricane Burial um, is striking Jamaica. And I went on chat GPT and found exactly some of these points that the PM was trying to explain. And um, he, he started with stay informed, you know, ensure that you monitor weather reports and updates from reliable sources. There are some reliable sources, just like the PM has mentioned, that will be posting live updates on the weather and um, anything in regards to the hurricane. Then create an emergency plan as number two. Ensure that you and your family have a way that you'll deal with an emergency in case you're struck with a hurricane. And um, it says develop a communication plan, designate a meeting place to ensure everyone knows the plan in case of emergency. Prepare an emergency kit. Include essential items like water, non-perishable food, medications, flashlights, batteries, first aid supplies, and important documents. Um, number four is ensure that you secure your home. Install storm shutters or board up windows. Reinforce garage doors. Bring in outdoor furniture and secure loose items. And um, number five is you all should ensure that you have an evacuation plan. Know your evacuation routes and plan where you will stay. Follow local authorities' advice and evacuation orders. If the local authorities tell you guys to evacuate, ev evacuate your area because they feel like your area is prone um, to hurricanes or landslides, just ensure that um, you listen and um, make it easier to work with the local authorities for your safety. Then the other thing is um, back up important data. Store important documents in a waterproof container. Back up digital files and store them in a safe place just to ensure that you do not lose uh, your important data. Prepare your vehicle. Keep your gas tank full. Have an emergency car kit with supplies such as food, water, blankets, and first aid kit. Um, stay safe during the storm. Stay indoors and away from the windows. That's one critical measurement. Ensure that you're away from windows in this time that um, you all are expecting for um, this hurricane. Follow instructions from local authorities. Then um, the last, last but not least, after the hurricane, avoid flooded areas and don't power lines. Check for structural damage before re entering your home. Follow safety advice updates from local authorities. Taking these measures can help protect you and your family during the hurricane. So to my Jamaican family, I love you all so, so much. And I hope that um, you all shall follow the measures that I mentioned and that, that which the, um, the Prime Minister mentioned and um, other local authorities' um, instructions so that you ensure that you are safe in this timing. To, to all my Jamaican fam, you know how much I love you and I had to do this video today because of the love you all have been showing me, man. So as this um, hurricane begins, uh, as it progresses, I just wish that you keep safe, you and your family, because I am sure that you all may, will come out alive. Ensure that if you're in a prone area, evacuate from that area, areas that um, usually get lands landslides, get away from those areas and ensure that you all are in a safe area. So guys, thank you so, so much. Kindly do consider subscribing to my channel for amazing, amazing black stories in Africa and in the diaspora. Goodbye for now. Keep safe, guys. Keep safe. I love you all. One love. Peace.